Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here with Peterson Electric. I want to talk to you today about wiring inside of a trailer. We are here with a company in Northern Colorado um, that does pumps and they do a lot of water um, pumping for fracking. Um, so they asked us to wire up this trailer. I think it's about uh, 15 foot by eight. Um, anyways, I want to show you what we did. Uh, bottom line, this right here will come off. This is just so as they travel down the road, this SO cord will be able to come down and off and they're gonna plug it into their generator. The ends are right here inside of this PVC box just so it doesn't get wet. This right here will just be their ground. So they'll undo this ground and strap it and then drive a little ground rod right there for their generator. I uh, went ahead and sanded that and put it to steel for a lug. All that came up into here. Just let her give you a quick overview of what it looks like in here. All that came up into here with the bushing and then we put some of that seal just right around there to keep the cold temperature out. Came up with a JSOW cord. It's a 10 gauge rated up to 40 amps. Came into here, put an MBR clip two right there, two pull 40 amp. We went ahead and jumpered that from A to B. So basically L1 and L2 are just the same because it's just gonna be one leg. Um, went ahead and wired up just a switch leg right here. This goes to the GFCI up to the um, light sensor motion eye, which does also sunlight for two LED strips. And then also ran another circuit that's going to be for the GFCI, as I'll show you in a second, and also for our pumps, for the purpose of this pump. This right here is um, inter-system bonding bridge bar, purpose of just grounding the trailer outside here and up and over. So go ahead and take a look at that. The yellow right here is the isolated ground for this little machine I'll show you. Pipe this in three-quarter inch, all the way over here to a GFCI receptacle. Line and load, going to trip that, come this way this outlet and those two so two four six eight ten are on that circuit right there just for one circuit as this comes in this is what we're wiring up as i know this is about a fifteen thousand dollar piece of equipment for this screen and these two right here uh, single phase comes in 120 and comes out 208 volts three phase right here and once that comes out that goes over to or to our pump i'll show you that in a second this is our data jump here for drive in and drive out. So it's communicating. Then we take a screen. It's like a cat five. It goes into here. We're going to cut this out here later on tonight and mount this inside here. That way this will completely shut in. That's why the box is so big. They wanted the screen to actually mount. I need a little bit more room in case they expand it in the future. Um, again, 120 coming in, 208 coming out, three phase. So this right here is a add a two leg right there for this little machine right here to, for the pump. Um, this will come into the flex. Paying attention to here. It says is it L1, is it low or high? Low again on my other videos I told you means 2083 phase or 483 phase on high. This is 208 because the side of this piece of equipment right here, go ahead and focus there, is 230 volt three phase. Three phase, 230 volt, zero to 230. So it's already selected what it needs to do. It's only running four amps total. So we went ahead and wired this up accordingly with four, five, and six tied together. Seven, one in black, or which I did purple. Eight, two in red, nine, three in blue. And we did that right in here also. Black, or purple, red, and blue. ISO ground, like I told you, comes to here all the way through the system, not grounding to anything else. Keep in mind that you do have to put this through for your neutral and your ground. This is your bonding jumper technically through the panel to here. Okay. So other than that, yeah, um, just pretty simple circuits. And that's all we had to do for them. And if you guys have any questions, give us a call. Thank you.